Hello there, this is Maneva Sada and welcome to my channel. Let's continue learning more about the data table. In this example, we will take a look at how do we join the data tables. I have two data tables. Let's take a look at the first one where I have the customer data table with three rows and three columns. I have the customer ID, customer name and city. And then I have another data table called customer orders. Let's see that as well. So I have a customer ID, order ID, and order amount. Please note that customer ID is the common column between these two data tables. Now let's drag and join a data table. It will ask to select the first data table. So that's going to be the customer orders. The second data table, it's going to be the customers. So the first data table is going to be the customers. The second data table is going to be the customer orders. Join operations. Which join operation we would like to go with? Do we want to go with inner, left or full? Let's understand the inner first and then we'll go with the join rules. Click on edit. We need to go for the common column which is there in both the table and that is the customer ID. So customer ID in one data table equals to the customer ID in the second data table. Now the way inner join works is it will check the common the way inner join works is it will return all the rows where there is a common match in the customer ID. Okay, that's how the inner join works. Let's see this in action. Say for now, hit run. It will. And we now have the join data table. So let's click on this. And you see, we have one and three. Okay, and why is that? We'll talk about that. We have customer name, city, customer ID two. Why? Because we are getting the column now also from the other data table. We have the order ID, order amount. See the customer ID 1 and 3. Why? Because when we go to the customer, we have 1, 2 and 3. However, when we open the customer order, we have 1, 3 and 5. We don't have 2 and we don't have 5 in the first table. We don't have 2 in the second data table. That's the reason. Common is 1 and 3 and that's why we have the join data table with 1 and 3 and that's what we actually have got. Okay, that's the inner join. Now let us just change from inner to left, we'll have the same condition, instead it will just change it to left, click on save and then let's hit run and see what happens now and then I will explain you what left join does. The execution completed, let's open this. Now you see we have 1, 2 and 3 we got, so it returns the rows from the left table. The left table for us is the customer. And the right table is the customer orders. So it returns the rows from the left table, but it also adds a null values for non matching rows from the right table. So we have one, two and three. So for one and three, we know that we have a value in the customer orders. That's why we have the values from customer orders table, but we do not have ID two in the customer orders. That's the reason we have two Alice and Los Angeles from customer table, but we don't have any values there in the customer orders table. But still, because it's in the left side of table, it has returned. Let's change this to full and let's see what happens now. Click on save, hit run. And let's open join data table. Now you see it returns the data from both the tables, left table as well as right table. 
same way it just puts or it just keeps the entry blank if you don't have the record in the right side right side of table it also keeps the data blank if it doesn't have the record on the left side table so you see overall we have now got four rows where now we have all the rows from first table as well as second table but wherever we don't have the data in the right side of table it shows blank wherever we don't have a data on the left side of a table it keeps it blank and that is how the full join works so i hope this simple example helped you to understand how can you work with joining of the data tables thank you so much for watching the video